The Robo Machines was a British comic serial which ran an eagle from November 10, 1984 to July 27, 1985. Although it was titled after the Bondi-owned Robo Machine toy line, it primarily used the Tonka-owned names of the GoBots. The characterizations, however, were original, and the plot wildly diverges from the American-made challenge of the GoBots. In Europe, Bondi, rather than Tonka, distributed the action figures from the Robo Machine line, and with the challenge of the GoBots cartoon yet to arrive in the UK, they engaged Fleetway Publishing to create a comic to help promote the line. Tom Tully, an experienced writer whose work included Roy of the Rovers and the Steel Claw, would script the series. The art was initially handled by Mario Capaldi, with Kim Raymond taking over midway through the first of the two arcs. The comic was set in a different continuity to the GoBots cartoon, with the characters hailing from the planet Robotron, and some character names. Reflecting the European line. The first arc begins on Robotron, which is a planet in the Proxima system where the organic inhabitants are very scientifically advanced people who through cybernetics are now 99% machines themselves, and robots are used in every walk of life. There, a power-hungry scientist named Strondomes the Master Renegade has modified two criminal robo-machines, Psy Kill and Tank, so they can transform into vehicles. After an unsuccessful attempt to assassinate the president of Robotron, Strondomes takes his creations to Earth, which he had identified as being rich in minerals to build more transforming robo-machines. The Robotron Guardian Security Forces dispatch Excel the last engineer and a group of volunteers in pursuit aboard the command center. Excel has studied Strondomes' blueprints for tank and psi kill, and plans to modify his volunteers in the same fashion. Meanwhile, Strondomes dispatches psi kill, tank and new creation fitter to the town of Colcombe in East Anglia, England, which they begin to destroy. The security forces, in the shape of Excel's creations, which are Leader 1, Hans Cuff and Dozer, arrive in time to drive them off, but the town has suffered many casualties, including the deaths of the parents of Charlie Bampton. A young boy who possesses especially this skill makes him useful to the security forces, and the chance to end Strong Domes' threat gives Charlie a reason to help them. After a botched contact with the British Army, the security forces track Strong Domes to an electronics factory in Birmingham, where Strong Domes has taken the workforce hostage and forced them to build more robo-machines for him. The security force robot truck and Charlie are able to free the humans, and the security forces move in and rout Strong Domes' forces. Strong Domes is able to escape on Psy Kill when the police arrive on the scene, though all his other troops are captured and disabled by the security forces. With most of his robo-machines deactivated by the security forces, Strong Domes experiments upon himself, and is able to modify his body so he becomes the massive robot Zod. This attracts the security forces, but Zod is able to attack the command center, and force it into retreat. However, the security forces robot Carriol accidentally tracks them to their junkyard base, only to be mortally wounded by Zod. At the junkyard, Zod and Psy Kill have recruited a group of destitute humans to build them more robo-machines, Zod's planned devil invaders. Carriol's signals attract the security forces with just one devil invader, Kazmod and Bilt. The security forces leave one of their numbers, Scooter, with Charlie on board the command center, but the human has a premonition of great danger and persuades Scooter to follow them. The premonition is correct, the massive Kazmodan is incredibly powerful, and in a pitched battle on the edge of London easily holds off the security forces attack, inflicting heavy losses on both them and the human population. Kazmodan also captures Charlie, but while inside the robo-machine, he is able to destroy vital circuitry, temporarily disabling his captor. The security forces then retreat to the command center, and withdraw to Robotron to regroup, taking Charlie with them. Psy Kill swears to build an army and invade the planet himself. The serial was obviously curtailed before Tully had intended, as the ending, with Psy Kill, Kazmodan and Zot unopposed on Earth and the security forces in retreat, is highly unusual. It seems likely Zod or Psy Kill would have built more devil machines. And the security forces would have returned to Earth with reinforcements. Several inconsistencies appear over the two arcs. Thanks for watching.